as I mentioned, bacterial ribosomes, they have smaller unit, which is 30S, and this 30S unit is loaded with, what is this? This is five part of messenger RNA. This is three part of messenger RNA. You know, messenger RNA has all the information how to synthesize, uh, how to synthesize protein in association with ribosomes. Now, 30S unit and 50S unit. Okay, I will write down 50S unit here. 50S unit and 30S unit. Now, the thing is, all, most of the anti, rather all antibiotics, all antibiotics which inhibit the bacterial protein synthesis, they are acting on bacterial ribosomes either or 30S unit or 50S unit. And there's a big group. Now, I, uh, we can use a mnemonic to remember that which antibiotic group work on 30S unit and which antibiotic group work on 50S unit. The best way to remember is, one of the easy way to remember is by at, at is classically AT, but now one T more is added, I will tell you why. Buy at 30, buy at 30, and if you are a good businessman, then you will sell at, yes, and sell at, selling something, but it is C, not S. Sell at 50, right? Buy, buy at 30, and sell at 50. Let me decode it for you. It means, that the drugs which work on 30S unit, this one, this is 30S units. Drugs which act on 30S unit, they are number one, A for amino glycoside. Okay, I will write it here that at mean amino glycoside. Aminoglycosides is a very big group of antibiotics. Many antibiotics are part of this group. For example, there is neomycin, tobramycin, amicacin, mycomycin, and yes, gentamicin. So all this group, they are part of A here. It means aminoglycosides work at 30s unit. I'm not going to be very specific, just helping to remember basically which classes of antibiotic work at 30S unit and which classes work at 50S unit. And what we are talking about that by at 30, A for amino glycosides, right? And then other is this T stands for tetracyclines. What is it? Tetra cyclines tetracyclines is a group all of them work on 30s unit predominantly and then third one is here and this is this t this is a new drug this is a new drug very effective and used for some resistant organisms like organism like uh, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus right there this new drug can be used it is called tg cyclin now aminoglycoside aminoglycoside tetracyclines tetracycline include of course tetracycline doxycycline minocycline tetracycline group and tg cyclin these three groups they work on 30s unit they work on by at 30. At stand for aminoglycoside, tetracycline, then TG cycline. What you need to remember, aminoglycoside, just uh, it reminds me something about aminoglycoside. I call it a M for mean, M E N mean, G for guy. Aminoglycoside as a group is a mean guy. You know why it is a mean guy? This group of drug is a mean guy. Why it is a mean guy? 
because yes because it hits on your ear and kicks on your kidney as a group minoglycoside is a mean guy very mean drug it hits on your ears and kicks on your kidney it means it produces autotoxicity and nephrotoxicity but right now we are concentrating the drugs working on 30s unit and 50s unit and i said mino aminoglycosides work at 30s unit second group was tetracycline including minocycline and doxycycline they also work on 30s unit and you should not forget this new drug what is this tetracycline this tetracycline is a new drug it was developed in response to treat the more resistant superbugs like methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus even you know many of the methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus are were treated by the vancomycin they were treated by the vancomycin and unfortunately now some staphylococci are resistant to vancomycin as well right luckily we have tetracycline which is effective on not only on methicillin resistant staphylococci aureus but the tetracycline is also effective in yes vancomycin resistant staphylococcus aureus now we come to the 50s we say cell at 50s what did we say cell at cell at 50 cell at 50 by at 30 minoglycoside tetracycline and tetracycline working on 30s unit and cell at 50 cell for stands for what number 1 c c stands for chloramphenicol it stands for chloram phenicol right chloram phenicol now it is less often used especially in the first world because of its side effects but we will not go into detail right now e stands for now chloram phenicol work on 50s unit right then e e is erythromycin e is erythromycin actually here e represent macrolide group macrolide group mean that erythromycin clarithromycin azithromycin all this group work predominantly on 50s unit then what why what what did i say cell at 50 chloramphenicol erythromycin and other macrolides and what is this l stand for this stands for linco lincosamide group what is this lin cosa mite group now in cosa mite group right this group included previously commonly used but not used now lincomycin what was that lincomycin now we have relatively safer drug which is more safe than lincomycin and of course you know that's name very well that is clindamycin which we are already studying so clindamycin is belonging to the group of lincosamide right so 50s subunit cell at 50 chloramphenicol at 50s erythromycin azithromycin clarithromycin work on 50s subunit of ribosome and then lincosamide which include the clind clindamycin also work in 50s now yes there is one more new l here as there was a new t here at 50s there is a new l here this l stand for a new drug which is called okay that is called linezo linezolid now it is relatively new drug it is very effective it kills methicillin methicillin sensitive staphylococci also even it kills sorry not only it kills methicillin sensitive staphylococci even to resistant staphylococci it is very good for example 
methicillin resistant staphylococci can be killed by linazolate even vancomycin vancomycin resistant staphylococci which are very hardy bacteria they can also be killed by linazolate but i will request to all of you don't use it very commonly because this drug is very precious for us and if we use as doctors we use this uh, linazolid very frequently bacteria will develop resistance against this drug also actually they have already started developing resistance against it right so this super drug for the sup killing super bacteria should be reserved and used only when other drugs fail or in very resistant cases of staphylococcus aureus right but now we come back to our basic lecture because we were going to talk about mechanism of action of clindamycin right so this was all some basic information some clinical information right now we are going to talk in detail exactly how clindamycin work on the 50s subunit and how it inhibits the protein synthesis by the susceptible bacteria and how reduced protein synthesis or distorted protein synthesis damages the bacteria right now we will be discussing that